Who am I? What's going on? Those questions will be answered later. For right now, Kip Pitt and Sean Angel take the green flag for Hark's first race in about two and a half years. First lap's gonna go to Sean Angel. He and Kip Pitt have quite the history together. Couple rows back, Ty Den, Mifune Sandro, and Ben Dover racing side by side. Uh, Dover doesn't give the 83 any room, and the 83 washes up into the 06 and collects Luca Brovac in the 3. We're currently on board with Luca. He'd actually drop out of the race. Luca's been a Hark regular for the entire time, so that's really unfortunate. It's Angel, Pitt, and Max Chan on the restart. Now, time to get into what's going on. Hark's been inactive for a couple of years. However, officials have been interested in bringing the series back one more time. Whoa, Nozomi takes them three wide. Uh, in any case, they're trying to test out whether or not the fans are going to like it, so they're putting on an ex exhibition race here at Flat Rock. These cars haven't been used in a while, they've been sitting in storage, and Max Chan hasn't competed in Hark since 2016, but he's sure putting on a heck of a show as he takes uh, the lead coming to the caution. We're following James Silverfox in the 27 here, former regular and race winner actually. Uh, he gets together with Mike Doan, who almost won the championship a few years ago, and they wipe out Mark Nutt in the zero. Nutt is unfortunately done. The restart didn't go that much better either. Sean Angel gets turned around by Kit Pitt, uh, that's going to be an interesting discussion in the horror later, and this sets off one heck of a crash. Pitt slides across the infield, almost gets turned over by Brandon Crasta. Not sure exactly what started that incident, we actually came in a little bit late on it. Got an onboard shot of Brandon Crasta. Uh, he basically just gets jump scared, he doesn't really have anywhere to go. Despite this, no one drops out of the race. On the restart, the 7T of Maxwell Chan uh, the Dixie Stampede 4th Thunderbird gets pursued by the Silver Bullet that Small knows me in uh, the 20 this race. James Shelley in the number 12 Lumina runs third. Fourth place is Brandon Crasta, who's recovered very well. And fifth place, as we watch this wild battle for the lead going on, is the only newcomer in the field, Eric Cardona in the 23, who is entered by Brandon Crasta. We might be seeing a little more of Eric later. Small Nozomi proved to be very popular in her one Hark season back in 2017, as uh, she takes the lead in front of uh, no doubt very happy crowd. Uh, looks like we've got a little bit of a wall scrape over there. Gonna have to check that out, see if something happened. And something did happen, a collision between Ty Dent and James Silverfox on the restart. Dent pitted it under the last caution, so this will set him further back. No time better than ever to check in with uh, Eric Cardona. He's running very well in the, in, uh, the fifth position, actually. Uh, running right in front of Nick Pericles in the eight, and the returning Michael Kane in the 175. Uh, Cardona is from North Carolina. He is a dirt track champion down there. Whenever there's a crash during a hard race, one of two drivers often gets blamed. James Shelley or William Duncan, and I don't understand the former. And speaking of crashes, it looks like Brandon crashed is about to cause one. Uh, well, uh, if he uh, had lunged any further, it probably would have been one. As uh, the number 12 outlaw paint shop, Lumina, uh, Shelley's been pretty quick in uh, his time in Hark. As we take to the chopper to focus a little more on the battle for second place, Maxwell Chan has been the star of the show for this one. As Maxwell, he goes for a hole I didn't think was even there, and he uses James Shelley as the brake pedal, entering turn number four. And it's going to work. Second place now belongs to Maxwell Chan in the 70 Thunderbird. I thought Crosser was going to turn him around there in turn three, but I clearly thought uh, better of that. Uh, Brandon, it's a little early in the race. We're not even at halfway. No need to form a solo tag team of death. The battle's still raging on Noah's Ark formation for two rows, but we're actually going to head to the back of the pack, see if anything's going on back there. Uh, here's Demir Bejanov in the number 13, the Kazakhstan driver. Uh, he's been around since the very beginning of Ark. Uh, Fred Flintstone in the F1 has probably been around since the world was conceived. Uh, right up ahead is the double zero of Johnny Appleseed. I have no idea why he was invited here and how he even made the race. There were actually a couple DNQs. I'll get to them later. 
Jeffrey Finca is running the 42 in this race, the Chrysler LeBaron. I'm sure he misses his beloved Ford. Uh, running right behind Kip Pitt and alongside Pichu London, who was a full-timer for two years. Uh, right behind them is the 01 of Sawyer Girl. What a strange name. Here is Bill Littlejohn in the car he uh, ran back in, I want to say, 2015. Uh, the Point Roberts Washington native is running with Richard Trolinski and Mike Doan. As we head on board Michael Kane in the 175, as Kane gets turned hard into the turn 2 wall, I, I did see him racing with William Duncan. I hope Duncan didn't do that one. My apologies to William Duncan. That was actually Brandon Crasso that has scored the 175 into the wall. Ali Nelson in the 96 goes around. As uh, that's huge suspension damage to this number 6. Uh, Mifuni Sandro door checks the 21. Don't think he was too happy about what happened to, to uh, his teammate. 6, 21, and 175. They are out of the race. One last shot of uh, how the 6 got its uh, race ending damage. Uh, Michael Kane would be okay, but he needed a lot of help getting out of there. The field begins the second half of the race with uh, Small Nose Me leading. Number 73, Spencer Fullerton, is off the lead lap. The Hark veteran uh, has not had a good day at all. Uh, Maxwell Chan tries to make a move on the inside, does not work. Here's Mifune Sandro. He was recruited in 2016 after William Duncan got suspended, and uh, he's proven he can do the best with what he's got. He's still running in the top 10, despite having a little damage to the back. Number 91 is Tyler Thaber. Yeah, they were running a bit of a throwback to the first number he ran in his very first heart race, which was an exhibition. Small Nozomi's small lead is getting larger and larger by the lap, as Spencer Fullerton begins to interfere with Maxwell Chan. Uh, Chan clearly doesn't like this, as he sweeps up the track in turn 4 and actually door checks the 73, but yeah, it, Fullerton is only one lap down, but he really should know better than uh, to get in the way of the leaders, when he probably won't win. Spencer Fullerton is still battling uh, Maxwell Chan. It's been about five laps. Uh, Chan seems to have the advantage now as he sweeps ahead of uh, the 73 Firebird and leaves him to be James Shelley's problem. Oh, not quite. Yep, there he goes. Nick Pericles spent his time away from Hark Renating Motors, which is funny because he blew one up in practice, but he was still able to make the show unlike our three DNQs, Chris Washer, Prudy Littlejohn, and Andreas Allen. Uh, fifth place for Pericles as he runs behind Eric Cardona. Here's Eric Cardona running right up ahead and uh, pursuing James Shelley. You can see in sixth place there the number 69, Bendover. Not sure if that's the 2013 Bendover or the new protege of Scott Roush. We've got about 10 laps to go. Here goes Small Nose Me up the track and Maxwell Chan has a, a bit of a run. Not going to do anything with it in one, but in turn two, surges to the inside. Here he goes for the lead. It doesn't look like it's going to happen in three. Not yet. Uh, one lap later, uh, Chan tries again. Surging in front. And here he goes. Huge run again off of two. Seems he found a sweet spot there to, or something. And another lap has passed. It's coming to start lap 93. Maxwell Chan takes the lead. But in true Maxwell Chan bad luck fashion, we have a caution. Pretty clear Jeffrey Fingai doesn't like turn 3, he barrel rolled it during post race last time we were here, and he goes around off the front of Kit Pit. Uh, Ty Dent, no brake usage as he piles in, a little bit of damage to the 72 of Mike Doan, here come the leaders. Coming to take 2 to go in Hark's first race in 2.5 years, Maxwell Chan has Ty Dent right behind him, Maxwell Chan's gonna need one heck of a jump, his car's off, here we go, 2 laps to go. As Chan runs up the track, he runs wide. Here goes Ty Den. He's three laps down. I'm not sure what he's doing. Small knows me. Finds a window. And here she goes. Coming to take the white flag. As Den gets spun off the front of the 70. The 20. The silver bullet. Small knows me. James Shelley is a little too far back, I think. He's got a bit of a run, but it's not going to be enough. Small knows me will win in a wild finish here at Flat Rock. Off the front bumper of Maxwell Chan, I'm not sure if Ty Dent would have cost him the race if uh, he hadn't turned him around, but uh, yeah, Nozomi definitely had a great window to make it on by, but Chan uh, dumping Dent into the wall uh, definitely confirmed his loss. One last shot from the chopper cam. 
I have no idea what Tydent was doing there. He was known for doing dumb stuff in his two years in Hark. I much would have rather preferred his brother TJ. Remember, TJ Dent won a race in a wild finish against Chris Washer and Motegi. Uh, it's Flat Rock, so you know there's going to be fun games after the checkered flag, as Nick Pericles gets turned around by Dick Trolinski. What is Maxwell Chan doing? Chan, oh my goodness, he is not happy at all. I think he's going after Ty Dent. Uh, Dent, I'm not sure where he is. Actually, I think Dent's back there, so we just missed him there. So Chan, as he heads towards the pit lane, he seems to be going down into the F1 car of Flintstone and guides uh, Flintstone towards the pit wall. Chan rests against the pit wall now. I think he's waiting for the 83. 83 car bumps the 91 out of the way and bails for uh, his pit stall so he can get the heck out of there. As we've got a cockpit shot of uh, Maxwell Chan here. As there's the 83, I think he missed him because of the 007 of London getting in the way. He recognizes in that and downshifts and gets over into uh, the F1 car of Flintstone and plants it right into the pit wall. Uh, Dent recognizes that uh, Chan's waiting for him, bumps the 91 of Saber out of the way, and bails out of there as Chan uh, gives up and cooler heads prevail. Now that that's over with, let's take a look at the results. Uh, Small Nose of Me is your winner, James Shelley in second, Maxwell Chan, heartbreaker for Chan. Uh, officials have said they're not going to look at that incident. Um, he still comes home in third, fourth place, Nick Pericles, fifth place, Eric Cardona. Uh, sixth is Ben Dover, seventh, Terrence Day, very quiet race for Day. Demir Bejanov, Mifune Sandro, and Ryder Smith round out your top ten.